considering a motion that could let a man accused of triple murder walk away from his trial a free man. Our Tierra Braddock now has been in the courtroom every day for this trial. She's live downtown with the latest Tierra. Chris, there have been so many twists and turns in this case. Tevin Biles Thomas's first trial was declared a mistrial because the jury read documents they weren't supposed to. And now the judge is considering a motion that can change the outcome of this trial. An unexpected twist in the second trial for Tevin Biles Thomas. He's accused of fatally shooting three men at a 2018 New Year's Eve party in Cleveland. On Monday, as the prosecution and defense were prepared to make their closing arguments, Judge Joan Sinnenberg threw a curveball. At this time, we're going to be recessing for the day. Judge Sinnenberg decided she needed more time to consider an acquittal motion requested by Biles Thomas's lawyer, Joseph Patitus. Patitus argued that the state didn't have any concrete evidence linking his client to the murders. There is no uh, testimony in this matter that would support a finding of guilt as it relates to murder. The prosecution challenged that and said there were witnesses at the party who identified Biles Thomas as a shooter based on the clothes he wore that night. The defendant was the first person who took his gun out.